can turn the world on with a smile. You take a nothing day. Welcome, Dave Jarvis. Good morning, ladies. How are we doing? We are good. Oh my goodness. Okay, so you're going to educate us this week about wines from Israel. Israel, yes. All right, what do you got? I see there's some red and there's a white, is there? Is yeah, yeah. Red? Well, let's look. We're going to start off with a oh, Chardonnay. Oh my gosh, here okay, we go. Can I ask a quick uh, question? Of course. So now it's April 2nd. So the wines you brought last month that only um, wine club members could get, now anybody can get them, right? Right. So the yes. March, the March wines... Uh, were all about Washington mm -hmm. and great wines, right? They were so good. Um, so those were available just to wine club members for the mm -hmm. month of March, and now they are available to everybody. Yay! So stop on by at Swirl. I do, too often. Now, the first wine we have is a Chardonnay, and it's uh, from the producer Gilgal. These guys are way up in the, uh, in the mountains in, of Galilee in northern Israel, and that's where probably the best wine in Israel is being made right now. And um, so let's, uh, should we give oh, this I a try? Give it you, get, you get a little bit of oak here, right? Mm -hmm. But uh, it's more along these um, the, these tropical fruits, the melon, the pineapple, yeah, a little bit good. of green apple, almost all has right. a lemon characteristic. What's next? Um, all right, <laughs> we're gonna go right to the, uh, to the king of reds, which is Cabernet Sauvignon. Ooh. It's fresh, right? But not as much heavy berry as like a California Cabernet. Yeah, yeah. There's more hints of oak and herb and G -I -L -G -A -L spice than just over the top. People are mm -hmm. listening on their computer and want to um, search it. How do you say it? Gilgal? Gilgal? Gilgal. Gilgal. G-I-L-G-A-L. This is the Cabernet. It's a killer cab. It's full bodied. <laughs> and you know, this will age, you know, another six to eight years. If a good cab is made and it's got the right tannin structure, um, which is that stuff that kind of hits you on the side a little bit. Mm -hmm. It's got the right alcohol content, the right acidity, and, and good fruit. It'll definitely age and get better and better and better. And if we let this rest, if we tried that tomorrow, you love it now, I think you'd be absolutely blown away well, if we you tried try that tomorrow. bottle. Okay, what do we have next? All right, the next. Merlot. Okay, wait, I'm just going to finish this. <laughs> <laughs> we, we have Merlot. And now Merlot and Cabernet, they go side by side. They go hand in hand. Oh, let's all let uh, so you take a look at the color. That's one of kind of the first steps of the wine tasting process. You definitely swirl and then get a good nose on it. Sniff, smell, whatever you want to call it. We got what's what you got a little fig, maybe plum. Ah, uh, right with this, a little bit of spice. Some I, cherry. I'd say more spice. I'd say yeah. more spice too. I will mm -hmm. say I like it, but I love the Cabernet, and everybody's yeah. different. Everybody's tongue mm -hmm. is different. That Cabernet just. Through the moon. To that's the moon, got that's got more fruit, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, this has got a little bit more herb and almost you get like a chocolate almost. Mm -hmm. Like so, a, a little peppery or something. I wanted to save this for last because oh, I think this is I like un the color. Believable. And isn't this a wine that's a little harder to to do right? That's what I've always thought. What is Pinot this Noir? One? Mm -hmm. Oh, this is Pinot Noir. Yeah, totally. I mean, it it takes the right um, winemaking techniques, it takes the right growing conditions. The thing about Pinot Noir is it's it's a very finicky grape. It's mm -hmm. it's difficult to to grow. This is yeah. their this is one of their top lines from this whole um, Gilgal lineup. Mm -hmm. Oh, that in one's northern Israel. Really, that one really different. <laughs> she's swirling. Oh, that she's one's got, really different. I'm afraid to taste it. Look, it's so she's different. getting her nose way in there. She's intrigued. <laughs> I have to show houses up. So now, if you take a look at this, guys, look at how much oh, lighter wow, that is, oh, right? Mm -hmm. You can already tell it's going to be a more elegant wine, um, but it's got kind of at the core, it's got sort of this darker, you know, ruby color, and then sort of fades. Um, if it's you get so a good nose smooth. on that. Wow. It's like velvet. Yeah. Yep. Oh, okay, where can we get these wines, and how do they join the wine club at Swirl? Uh, come on down. We're in Afton. Uh, you can check us out online as well, too, swirlmywine.com. Uh, we deliver. Um, you there's, deliver? Yep, we deliver to homes and businesses How late across at night? the country. <laughs> <laughs> Dave Jarvis, thank you so much for joining us. We'll have Cheers, you back ladies. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks for having uh, me. Thank you. You can turn the world on with a smile. You can take a nothing day and suddenly make it all